In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create project folders for 3ds Max. So whenever you start working on a CG production, whether that be an animation or you're just working on a model for a, a production or a game or whatever it might be, it's a good idea to keep your project folder nice, neat, and organized. And with 3ds Max, there's a default structure to do that. So to create a project folder, what we'll do is we'll go up to Customize in our menu bar. And then you'll see Configure User Paths. Go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to bring up this dialog box. Now, first thing that you'll see is Project Folder. And you can set up where you want your project folder to be. So in order to set this up, what you'll want to do is browse to where you want that project folder to uh, be located. You could put it anywhere on your computer. You could put it on your C drive, uh, wherever. So once you do that, you set up that folder all you have to do is just simply hit OK. Now you'll notice that there are some files here that is showing up with the project folder that I have set up already. With this you'll see that we have animations and archives and auto backup. These are all the files that are going to be created whenever you create your own project folder. Now where we want to spend most of our time is going to be this scenes folder. This is where all of our .max files are going to be saved. So once we hit OK, it's going to generate all of these folders and put those in that file location. So I've gone ahead and I've brought up the location in which we saved our project folder. Here you can see all of those files that we had seen in that dialog box. Is those have been generated. Now there's one more file that has been generated here, and this is the 3ds Max path configuration file. If you want to open up the project files that we're going to be working with and you just want to see exactly how it's set up all you have to do is just simply go up to customize user paths and then instead of choosing a file to be located you'll just simply go to load now when you hit load it's going to allow you to find that particular file and look it's looking for that path configuration file so I'm going to go up and it's going to look for this file right here and then all you have to do is just simply hit open and then your project file will be mine. Okay. Now whenever you download the project files for this particular course it's going to have everything ready to go and you can open up uh, the first scene so you can go to your scenes folder and then you'll find all of the project files right here. So now that we have talked about how to set up a project folder let's move on into our next lesson and let's talk about selecting and viewing objects inside of 3ds Max.